In this video, I'm going to show you how to integrate a Webflow CMS collection into a Reloom library component. So let's jump in. So I'm going to show you a few examples of integrating a CMS collection so that we cover all bases. I'm gonna start by integrating a CMS collection inside of a blog component. So I'm gonna to go to the blog header sections. And I'm choosing blogs because they're probably the most common, uh, commonly used component uh, that uses a CMS collection. So I'm gonna paste that into the project. And what I want to do is I want to open the div and I want to add a CMS collection inside of this blog one component. Next to the div called blog one underscore list wrapper. Now the first thing I want to point out is that for components that are likely to use CMS collections, like for instance, the block component, we have structured it in a way that enables you to uh, seamlessly add CMS collections to it um, and to adopt the structure and classes associated with that CMS collection. So as you can see here, we have structured this component to mimic how a collection is structured. So first you have the list wrapper, then you have the list, then you have the item. So what we can actually do is we can copy and paste the classes and add them to this collection. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Paste that in. And what we wanna do is for this list, we'll want to add a grid. And then lastly, we have the blog item class which we can either add to the item or we can just also paste this class into the item also. But it's saying that I cannot connect this collection because I actually need to select the source. So before we do that, do need to select the source and then I can go ahead and I can paste in the item. Right, now, now that I've added the collection, I can delete the original placeholder and I can begin to wire up or connect, you know, the uh, images, the, t the titles to the CMS database, which is pretty straightforward. And there you have it. I've integrated a CMS collection into the existing component. Pretty straightforward. Now, the second example I'm going to give you is when you're working with a component that might not always use a CMS collection and we haven't in fact built it and structured it in a way to, um, to integrate effortlessly with a CMS collection. So a good example of that would be a frequently asked questions section. So I'm gonna to go to the frequently asked questions section and I'm going to copy this and I'm going to paste it into this project. Great, so here we have the list of frequently asked questions. Now what I'm gonna, going to do is inside of this component, I'm going to add a collection list. I'm going to select the source. And then I'm going to grab the accordion, accordion which is essentially the item. And I'm going to paste that into the collection item. And then I'm going to delete the above accordions. And then now I have basically the CMS collection, I can um, begin to wire up the text to the CMS database. And there you have it. I have a CMS able uh, component. Now, if I wish to create some spacing or change the layout of this, I could then now create my own uh, frequently asked question list class. Um, maybe I want to change that to a grid um, and maybe I want to add some spacing here. So some two RAM, right? And there we have it. I have styled it in a way that has a gap between it. So essentially we haven't gone that extra mile with this component because oftentimes free fast questions are static and not dynamic CMS content. So this is an example of integrating it with a uh, CMS collection. Now, the third example I'm gonna show you is a commonly asked example, 
um, which is integrating a CMS collection into a slider. Um, so I'm gonna go to the blog sections and I'm just gonna go to search and I'm going to pull up a slider and I'm gonna use this blog 65 as the example. I'm gonna go back to the project, I'm gonna delete, delete, and I'm gonna paste in this section. All right, now I'm going to return to the Relum library and open up the modal and you'll see power up. So here's a, basically a power up um, enables you to um, power up that existing component using resources uh, created by third parties. So FinSuite has created a great resource called Attributes um, and which enables you to create a CMS slider um, and we have built this component so that it is ready to go with attributes. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna walk you through a tutorial quickly of how to implement this CMS slider with the Relum library. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to copy the script and I'm going to add it to the head code. And I'm gonna press save. I'm gonna go back and I will follow the instructions here. So I want this collection list to be the dynamic content for the slider. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go click copy. I'm going to now open this uh, and I'm going to add a collection list to here and I'm going to pull in blog posts. Now I'm gonna go back and I'm just gonna confirm that I need to add this attribute to this collection list. So I'm gonna go open the collection list, go to attributes, type in list, Ooh. <clears throat> press save, cool. Now let's continue. And I want this slider component to display the dynamic content. So I'll do just that. So I'll copy this and I'll go to the slider component. And I'll go back here and I'll need to add this slider attribute. Great. All right, now the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this blog 65 item and I'm going to paste it in here, right? And you know what, I'm gonna also, um, just for the sake of space, I'm going to convert this to a three column um, grid. This is just temporary. I mean, this basically what FinSuite does is it hides this collection anyway. So it's just so I can look at, look at what the um, what the, the actual item looks like. Um, but what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna connect and wire it up to the CMS database because that's the next step we need to take. So I'll just do the name uh, and I'll add the description to the post summary. Great, cool. And I'm just gonna leave this blank for now. All right, great. Let's return back to this tutorial and I think that's it. So now what we can do is we can go back and we can remove the item from the slider. And I'll just delete this. Cool. And then, you know what, I might want to even hide this collection for now and then I'll press publish. Okay, cool, and there you have it. We have added the CMS collection to a slider using FinSuite's attributes. Thanks for watching this video. If you found it useful and you would like to continue to improve your design and development workflow on Webflow, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. Now, if you would like to see more videos like this, you can visit the Realum University on our website. And if you would like to join a community of designers and developers using Webflow, 
You can join our Slack channel, it's free, and you can find it on our website in the footer and also on our socials. Thanks for watching this video and enjoy building.